Hi, welcome children. We are discussing the chapter Components of Food. In our previous session, we have seen with the major categories of nutrients and we learned energy giving foods such as carbohydrates and fats, right? Yes. We are starting today's session with the body building food that is proteins. Proteins are body building foods. It means proteins helps our body in growth. In that way, they help to build our body. Okay, and also if there are any damages in the cells or tissues, proteins are responsible to repair those damages. Protein sources are meat, cheese, pulses, legumes, egg, etc. Then we talk about egg. These are excellent sources of protein children. Say for example, in 100 gram of egg, nearly 13 grams of protein is available. In our body, our hair, nails on the fingers and toes, skin contains pure protein that is called keratin. Keratin is a protein that is present in all these parts. When we are talking about protein, we must talk about milk because milk is very nutritious and is a rich source of protein. Major protein in milk is casein and whey protein. If we take 1% of milk, it contains nearly 3.4 grams of protein. There is a simple test to check the presence of proteins. Look here, in first test tube, we need to place a food sample that what we want to test and add little water to it. Now we need to add 2 drops of copper sulfate solution. Stir well, then add 10 drops of caustic soda solution. After few minutes, if this solution turns to violet color, it indicates presence of proteins in the food sample. So children, we must note one point here. If the solution turns to violet color, then only we can say that proteins are present in the food sample. This is all about proteins. Proteins help our body in growth and fights against various diseases. Under protective foods, we have first one vitamins. Basically, the word vitamin comes from the Latin word where vita means life. So, vitamins are essential to our life. Compared with carbohydrates, proteins and fats, vitamins are required in small quantities to our body. They protect our body against various diseases. Say for example, if our body lack with vitamins, definitely we will become sick. Some vitamins are soluble in water, but some are soluble only in fats or oils. So on the basis of their solubility, we have divided vitamins into two groups. Fat soluble vitamins and water soluble vitamins. Vitamin A, D, E and K are fat soluble. It means these vitamins are soluble only in fats or oils. Vitamin B complex and C are water soluble vitamins. These are soluble in water. Now we will start with fat soluble vitamins. Vitamin A. Sources of vitamin A are leafy green vegetables, oranges, carrots, pumpkin and sweet potato. Vitamin A maintains bones and skin and it responsible for the good eyesight. Lack or shortage of this vitamin leads to a condition called night blindness. It means those people who lack with this vitamin, they struggle to see at night. Next fat soluble vitamin is vitamin D. It is also called as sunshine vitamin. This is because our skin prepares vitamin D with the help of sunlight. So only it is called sunshine vitamin. Other sources are mushrooms, fish and eggs. Vitamin D is responsible for healthy development of bones and teeth. Its deficiency results in rickets in children. It means you are seeing in the picture here it is characterized by softening of bones. Bones becomes very soft. And if we see the same condition in adults, it is called osteomalacia. To avoid these types of conditions, we must be exposed to sunlight. Next fat soluble vitamin is vitamin E. Sources are soybean oil, pine nuts, apricots and spinach. Vitamin E helps in formation of vitamin K and also it is responsible for the formation of red blood cells. Its deficiency leads to transmission problems during nerve impulse. It means nerve cells communicate with one another and nerve impulse mostly passes in the form of electrical signals. Thus, lack of vitamin E results in problems during nerve impulse. 
Next vitamin under fat soluble vitamins is vitamin K. Sources of vitamin K are green leafy vegetables, soybean oil and it is responsible essential for the blood coagulation. It means blood clotting. Say for example, if any small cut occurs in our body, immediately blood clots, isn't it? Yes, this is because of the vitamin K in our body. Lack of this vitamin leads to excessive bleeding from wounds. Next, we are going to talk about water soluble vitamins. Under this, we have vitamin B1. It is also called as thiamine. Sources are dried herbs, sunflower seeds, whole grains, sesame seeds, brown rice, etc. This vitamin helps to convert carbohydrates into energy and its deficiency leads to beriberi. This condition mainly damages the nerves, especially in the arms and feet. And other symptoms like loss of appetite and loss of weight occurs due to vitamin B deficiency. Next water soluble vitamin is vitamin B2. It is also called riboflavin. Sources are almonds, bananas and green beans. Vitamin B2 it is responsible for the formation of red blood cells and its deficiency leads to chylosis. Look into the picture here. It is a type of skin disorder where we can see cracks in the corner of mouth. Vitamin C. Rich sources of vitamin C are cauliflower, papaya, oranges, strawberries etc. And this vitamin is mainly responsible for the healthy gums and teeth. Focus here, its deficiency results in scurvy and gingivitis, where in scurvy we can absorb bleeding and loosening of teeth and in gingivitis swelling of gums occurs. This is all about fat and water soluble vitamins. Hope you like today's session. Please like this video and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.